And now, let me introduce you to what can be a really hazardous material. It's a material that has a long-lasting, devastating impact on our environment. So before you actually reach out to buy it, you should first check if you really, really need it. It needs 450 years to just start decomposing and then it takes another 50 or 80 years to decompose completely. So since this was invented less than 450 years ago, every single unit of this produced man-made article has not decomposed yet. You might have guessed it, I'm talking about plastic and plastic burns a hole in almost everyone's pocket. Take this plastic bottle, for instance, about 90% of the price that you pay for this bottle goes for the plastic in this bottle. Our waters are in trouble too, because the worldwide fishing industry throws huge amount of plastic garbage in the oceans. Amazing 150,000 tons go into the water every year, including packaging, plastic nets, lines, voice, you name it, everything is there. This trash causes death of many animals in the seas, which actually mistake the garbage for food. So estimates say that the number of killed animals is over 10 lakh till date. Even on our roads, we can find cows chewing on garbage and in the process consuming the plastic bags as well. The plastic is so bad for them, it can clog the lining of their stomach, choke the respiratory system and kill them. So you cannot burn plastics because synthetics cannot decompose completely on burning. You cannot decompose them, so it's best to reduce their use. Stuff that can be decomposed is called biodegradable. So all stuff that's made from animals and plants like wool, paper, cotton, vegetable, food peels, uh, all of it, it's biodegradable. And then there are things like plastic, tin, aluminum, for example, that are not biodegradable. That is, they cannot be decomposed. So over 13 billion bags of plastic are produced every year. So that's around 300 bags per adult. And 300 bags in 365 days is just too much. Most shops now advocate some environmentally friendly cloth bags and some shops even charge you for bags so that you take them only if you actually need that. Actually, it's better to actually take a cloth bag to the shop. Now, many countries have realized the impact plastics have on our environment, and many of them have banned and restricted the use of plastic bags, including Australia, China, Austria, Bangladesh, Ireland, several EU, EU countries, and even some states in India. So the type of plastic used for making these banned plastic bags is called polythene, which gets its name from its composition, poly plus ethene. Now, plastic comes in so many varieties and the arrangement of its monomers is different in each type. In some, it can be linear. In some, it can be crisscrossed. So this is the reason that you can easily scrunch or crush a plastic bag like this, but you wouldn't even think of scrunching or crushing a plastic chair, for example. So even when you add hot water to a bottle, it gets deformed easily. So plastic which gets deformed or basically gets a weird shape when hot water is added is called a thermoplastic. And this plastic is usually easier to bend as well. And they are comprised of either polythene or PVC. You have another set of plastics called thermosetting plastics. Examples are Bakelite and Melamine. Let's understand that now. Bakelite. Hmm. Now, before you rush into thinking that this material is used in the kitchen, I'll clear it up for you. The closest it gets to cooking is the switch that you would use to put on the oven, the fridge, or maybe a stove. So most of the utensil handles would be made of Bakelite because it would not conduct electricity and substances that do not conduct electricity are called insulators. 